Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Show. The show is about transforming lives one story at a time. And uh, we have people from all walks of life who have come on the show and they share their heart stories. And, and I'm so excited to have uh, a previous guest back on the show uh, doing more wonderful things in the community. And uh, he's here right now to share his pearls of wisdom. Please welcome back actor Philip Moran. How are you doing? Thanks for having me again. I'm back. You're back. <laughs> yeah, good to see yeah, you. I'm back. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it, what's what's been new? And and by the way, uh, rave reviews about Adam's Testament. Yes, uh, since uh, the, the movie last Adam's time Testament. We, uh, definitely, he's gotten some really good following. Lots and, of uh, following and a lot and of good purpose. Mm -hmm. And and also the the Bible references and the, the, the Bible study Made that has Bible study kind of... To all families cope through challenging situations and, you know, really, really bad, you know, hard times. Yeah. But I'm, I'm glad to be part of that, you know, and uh, something just came out of the blue, right? I never really expected a movie to become a Bible study and for me to become some sort of symbol or something. No. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited it's about that. It's a wonderful thing. It's still thing. going on. Yeah, excellent. So let's talk about um, some, some new things that you're involved in. Law of Attraction. You hear oh, a lot about that. Okay. What can you tell us about the Law of Attraction? So, I mean, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in my industry, I guess, in the acting world or singing world or model world, um, it's a very tough world. Yes. I mean, I don't think I have to tell anybody how tough it is. You have to be thick-skinned. It's, 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 it's so yeah. tough, and it keeps getting even tougher sometimes. There's no indication of when it's gonna, you know, be easier or, you know, something is gonna happen or something good's gonna happen or it's guaranteed. There's nothing like that, right? So, um, but I, you know, but I've been thinking. I've been sort of in my pursuit as well in my career, obviously. Um, you know, besides all the stuff that has to do with your career, the branding, the um, you know, getting an agent, getting a manager, uh, building your your you know your portfolio, your resume, all that stuff, your education, you know, and it's also important to to also have a life, to also be able to live, to to feel like you're not going to start living when you become an actor or you become a singer, you become a you know uh, you know a, an artist or something, um, and I think that you know. A lot of people, they, you know, they, because they don't live, they don't become part of something great, maybe like a great relationship right. or a great, uh, having great friends. They're always constantly moving around, right? And they're constantly always feeling alone, you know? And, uh, you know, when you sort of feel successful and you have options and, and, and more options than just your career, or your, you know, this big acting career, this big balling career, this big uh, singing career, you must also have something you can step away from, the acting. So some, you know, some, something that you're good at, that you love to do as well. It could be anything. It could be academic. It could be also creative. It could be your own business. Just something that steps, you know, keeps you, you know, you can say, you know what, I choose to just step away right now. I just, just, just you know, it's my choice. It's my option. You know, I'm not forced to do it. You know, you know, acting is not the only thing I can do. And right now, I just want to just relax and just rest and just live and just learn and just share myself with people and just have my relationships and whatever else. So a lot of people, I find a lot of artists, um, you know, they're hopeful. We're all hopeful. I understand that, you know. But it's important to also have options that become your leverages yes, sure. in life as well, um, which really supports your faith overall. Um, so if something doesn't go right in your artistic world, then you know you still have your relationships, you still have your friends, you still have your other career, your other jobs. You're still making money, right? And you can still, you know, take a, you know, take yourself away from the publicity, the you know, the paparazzi and all that stuff. Um, the law of attraction to me is very important, but it's not just something you just create over weeks or months or even years. Um, it takes a long time. It takes a long time and for you to be ready to work with the laws of attraction. 
Um, you know, being at the right place at the right time, you know, it's great. It's great. But are you going to be prepared? Not just education-wise, but also emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. Are you going to be prepared, right? So that's what I find a lot of people don't make the preparations in advance. And you have this great, talented artist and actor, but there's something missing. There's, some, there's no flexibility in his personality or in his, um, his, his energy. Energy is very big. Yes. You know, I'm very big on energy. Um, you know, and backed up by faith, the law of attraction works where you are presented with uh, some sort of opportunity at a certain time and you're prepared. You're prepared and the opportunity is there and it finds you. You don't have to look for it. It finds you, which is why I, I, I push the branding so, so strongly where the branding just advertises who you are throughout the whole world. You know, people know that that's who you are. That's what kind of artist you are, actor you are, singer you are. And when they think of that particular music or film or, or character that they want to, you know, they want to find an actor for, boom, you come up first on their list, mm. you know. So that's, that's what I think, you know, is very important for artists to, to start to develop is uh, the, the unreliance that they have to rely on their agent, their manager. They're not to blame. If you're not working, they're not to blame. Your teacher, he's not to blame. She's not to blame. You have to, you know, prepare yourself for the stuff that you need to also get your own work, to also be able to get yourself out there. Yeah, you, you know? have to be proactive. Yeah. That too. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. that's what I mean by the law of attraction okay. when it comes to the, um, you know, the artistic world and the creative world. I love that. I, I like the way you've uh, defined it. I try to do it as simplest as possible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's very complicated sometimes. It can be, it can be, but uh, but simple as still. So tell me about um, some workshops that you're involved in. Yeah, so I wanted to, um, as I've been talking to a lot of people, and it doesn't just apply to actors, um, but most of my acting workshop, workshops that I've done, that I've sort of been part of, uh, it, it's not basically teaching people all the stuff there is to know about the industry, like making a course or making some sort of curriculum for them to follow. It's, it's, it's really looking at your class, your students, uh, the people that are going to be sort of, you know, taking the course and realizing their weaknesses and their strengths and creating something, uh, you know, built around that, around making their strengths, uh, manage their strengths and building their weaknesses. So you have to know what they want. You have to know what they aspire. You have to know what, you know, which direction they want to go. You have to know a lot about their life as well, what obstacles they're going to have in the future for what they think that they want to do. And all of a sudden they have this obstacle. It could be anything. It could okay. be physical. It could be something to do with, you know, um, if they have to travel. It could be um, something emotional, something spiritual, it could be anything, but that's part of the preparation as well. So we sort of, we're trying to, um, me and this uh, business partner from Miami was trying to create this workshop and I'm trying to do it, you know, over a three day period, which is pretty fast, but three day period. And it's basically customizing each artist's, um, lifestyle basically what they have to do like a um some sort of um book booklet that they can refer to back and forth so if they get stuck they know what they have to do if they have to make this decision how do they make a quick decision and what do they decide on you know and if they have four decisions to make well you only have to make one and you only can make one which one do you make so it, it, it's, 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 you know, it's that kind of thing because eventually you will have options, lots of options, but these options will take you in different directions. But, you know, you can only go in one direction and hopefully it's the right direction, right? So I think a lot of artists, they need something practical, something that, you know, they, you know, they have to understand, first of all, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen overnight. 
But if they really want it that bad, and they really want it, and they feel it down to the core, then they have to also understand that they need leverage. <clears throat> they need, you know, acting also to love them, not just for them to love acting and just die for acting and all that stuff. That's great, but they need leverage. They need to be strong. Because when you're strong, you know, and you have leverage, you look like you have leverage, people look up to you. People sort of sure. see that you, you know, you're calm, relaxed, you're in control. And, and, and you have leverage. You feel like you can walk away any time because, you know, you have some sort of power over the situation as opposed to just not having any power. And I want to incorporate that, incorporate that into the workshops where people also have other options to create other options just as equal right and to understand how life what life really is and to really understand what they have in their life and to be happy with what they have in their life right now you know they have to be happy with, with what they have Absolutely. in their life they can't just say oh i'm not happy with what i have i have you know whatever i have because of this but i really want this well you got to be happy with what you sure. have yeah but when you have what you want to get you're probably not going to be happy anyway because mm -hmm. it's just create a habit of not being happy and not being mm -hmm. satisfied sure and that's uh that you know that's a mistake as well so um it's it you know it's um it's well-rounded workshop so it, you know it involves the you know the mental the spiritual the physical the preparation the, the you know the, the the uh the scene work for actors interaction with with real people just like they would in a real film and stuff like that. Uh, the interview phases, the audition phases, understanding audition versus branding and, and then being selected for sure. a part before you even, yeah. you know, and that brings me to my next topic, but you're probably gonna ask it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your acting. Yeah, yeah more so, roles coming up. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so um, it, it's great. I mean, everything's sort of, consistent it's right consistent and it's, it's kind consistent of, it's simple it's yeah. it, it's simple you know it's like having one flavor of something and that's it you have no choices that's the flavor that's that's it when you have one flavor of something then you have no other choices to make it's simple and you can go to sleep and you just have a, a nice good sleep but when you're like i can only have one and there's like 10 flavors like what do i do which one i want them all but you can't you, <laughs> you only can't. have one Gotta so choose one yeah, so I mean, I um, I recently, you know, it, it, the process, it, it's so complicated and I keep telling people, but you have an actor, you know, and, and all he thinks about is getting an agent. And I keep asking them why. Why you want to get an agent? Because I want to get work. Okay, what do you have to market yourself for this kind of work? And what work is it you really want to get? Right. Do you even know? Yes. And then do you, does your agent even know? But you can't <clears throat> get upset with your agent if they don't get your work, right? So you have to brand yourself. Now, because my brand is pretty strong, you know, um, you know, from this movie to the TV show that I'm doing as well, and now to another uh, feature that is definitely uh, probably going to be my biggest role. And maybe my biggest movie, but right now Adam's Testament seems to be my, big, my biggest role, my biggest movie. But <clears throat> think about it this way. They write a book, then they write a screenplay, and then they make a movie. Well, this book is not even finished written. Wow. And I can tell you that the cast is almost already picked. Hmm. The cast is almost picked before the book is even written. Now run that through your mind. There's no audition yet. There's no screenplay yet. These people already picked the actors before the screenplay is even written. There's no script. Seems very intuitive how they're putting this together. Because they know what they want. Okay. They write a book or anything, the creator. And he knows the character the one, that's, the one that's going to play that character because of the branding, because of what this person represents and what that person represents. And the branding is strong. And they select the characters before the, the, the screenplay is even done. So that's the power of branding. That's the power 
of doing the work. That's the power of not just relying on your agent. That's not the, you know, and you have to know, you have to know what your brand is. And so, you know, I, I, I've been offered a role, a big role. Um, it's a true story. It's funny how you had this guy talking about the criminal system and stuff like that. Well, this guy also was, uh, was part of a criminal, uh, act, uh, you know, and, um, and he wants me to play someone real in his life. And I've met the person and the person is actually, uh, in the, you know, he's sick. He's very sick and dying. Uh, and, uh, I had a chance to meet him. I've never really had that before where I met the actual person I was going to sure. play. And he's a very complicated character. He's a very interesting character, complicated, a lot of, a lot of dimensions to him. And some, some way he's the cause of the way the, that the person that committed the crime turned out to be. He's the reason for that. So it's a very, challenging role again it's you know it's playing the father uh they keep on wanting me to play father so yeah. uh, that's okay but he's a lot older than me now but i'm but i'm playing him when he was in his younger years and he was a businessman and all and traveling all kinds of stuff and um it, it, you know i've been forwarded uh, the book or at least um, most of the book um and just been you know sort of talking back and forth and like I, like I said, it's not even finished the book yet. And he's already handpicked so many different people to play different roles. And there's no casting yet. No casting yet. So a lot of these people that are waiting for their agents to get them work, you know, I would think twice about that. Okay. They only get it because the casting directors have it because somebody's finished writing a book, finished doing a screenplay, and they have some production stuff going on, and now they're ready to cast, and their agent wow. calls you. But I'm talking about... In the beginning of the stages, right? I'm getting picked before it all happens. That's fantastic! That doesn't and there's ever no audition. Yeah. And there's no audition. You don't have wow. to audition. Wow. You know, I tell people you don't have to audition. You can audition if you want, but you audition to who? The casting director. Mm -hmm. That and he knows. He knows that what he answers wants. to the director. Yeah. That answers to the producer. That answers to the executive producer. Answers to the the writer or mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know how it all works, but yeah. So when is this movie coming out? Well. It's, it's still being written, like okay. I was saying. There's a lot of work been, been done with, uh, with uh, securing, uh, say, producers, uh, executive producers. Um, there's an A-lister involved. That's really a big supporter. I can't, I can't say the name right now, but there's an A-lister involved. And uh, it, 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 it's a movie that would be shot in the States and in, in, uh, in Canada, somewhere in Vancouver or something. Um, it's a real life story. It did actually happen. Um, but again, it's an injustice uh, to this man mm -hmm. by the criminal system, by the court system, by the judicial system. Um, again, another example. Um, fortunately, he was not committed for a long time. He was acquitted because I guess they, 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 they didn't find the evidence they wanted. Um, but, you know, the man's life was definitely damaged for a long time. It was all turned upside down. <laughs> you know, he lost, he lost so much and he had to, you know, regain people's confidence again and, and, and back into the workforce. And, 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 you know, it was very tough for him, very tough for me. A lot of support from his family, which is good. Um, but, um, you know, and, and now people want to make a movie out of it. So it's, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited about being part Sounds of it. Sounds exciting. Yeah. 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 And along with the, you know, the Heroes Manufacturer that I'm doing and uh, the San Diego Comic Con, which is a huge That's Comic huge. Con, Super Con. Yeah. And, uh, um, and your connection with a, Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, big. that's in Miami when, yeah. I, when I saw him in Miami. But this one's the 50th anniversary. There's going to be incredible stuff there. San Diego is the biggest in the world uh, for, for fan expos and Comic Cons. It's called Super Con. It's, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Sounds like <clears throat> life's going really well for you. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's all connected, right? It's, it's all connected. connected to that path that I've sort of um, been waiting for a long time. You know, yeah. you got to wait. You, you got to wait. wait. You got to also live and you also got to work. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you also got to just keep on, keep your tools sharpened. Right. Also, always. You can never forget your dream. Mm-hmm. But that's what it is sometimes, a dream. A dream that people, you have to convince people that it could be real. Yeah. You could be a real actor. You could be a real star. That takes a long time sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, in my case, it took a long time. But I'm trying to shorten that process for people mm-hmm. if they understand what's up ahead. Right. Sort of you know, maybe help them make decisions and awesome. stuff. So. Pretty excited about that journey. Excellent. Well, it sounds like it's uh, uh, created a traje- trajectory for leadership for you in terms of mentoring other actors. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's a wonderful thing. So where can people find you? Obviously, you guys can find me on Facebook under Philip Moran. Um, IMDB, uh, I'm under Philip Moran 2 because there's another Philip Moran in uh, the States. The only one, one and only is right here. Yeah, though. if you put Philip Moran actor, you'll, you'll find things very quickly. Um, Twitter, Instagram, same thing as under Philip Moran actor. If you just Google me, you'll, you'll be able to find a lot of Philip, Philip Moran links. And uh, Gmail, uh, Philip Moran actor at gmail.com. And Philip Moran actor.com is my website. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Easy to find. And I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad I'm yeah, back on this couch. On it's so couch. comfy couch. It's so nice. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Philip Moran, thank you so thank much you for your time. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Well. And don't miss out on uh, Adam's Testament. Go check it out. It's online and it's, uh, I believe it's on Netflix, right? So on, it's going to be on Pure Flix, I heard. Pure it's Flix. on Amazon. A lot of people talk about it and uh, it's going to be, um, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's good. It's very good, very it's, strong. It's very strong. Go check it out. We'll be back. The Nikki Clark Show, transforming lives one story at a time. If you would like to be a guest or become a part of our live studio audience or even to become a sponsor, just go to www.nikkiclarknetwork.com.